Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can install and use Thin Plate Spline Motion Model for image animation on Windows. Basically, this still image can be converted to this video using another sample video. Let's get started. Now, in this video, we will learn how you can install this, which will help you to animate images using another video. And here are all the details required to make this application run. So we will be using Anaconda as suggested. Go to the official Anaconda website, download it and install it to your PC. We have already downloaded and installed Anaconda, so we will skip this part. After this, download these files. Click on code and click on download zip. So the file has been downloaded. Before extracting this, let's also download the pre-trained models. Scroll down and here you can download these pre-trained models. Either use this cloud or Google Drive. I will use Google Drive. Let's download them all. Click here and click on download. This will zip the file and the download will begin. The download will take some time as you can see the file sizes here. So the file has been downloaded. Show in folder. So here are two files. One is the GitHub files and the other is the pre-trained models. Now let's extract these files. Open it and I will extract these to the desktop. So here is it. Now we also need to extract these files. Open it. I will close this. And open this again. Here are four pre-trained models. You can use any one at a time. Anyway, before extracting it, let's go back to the GitHub page. Now here, it suggests creating a folder named checkpoints for those models. I will copy the name and create a folder name, name it checkpoints. Now extract all this file inside the checkpoints folder. So here are all the files. Let me close this. Now let's follow the installation process. We have already downloaded and installed Anaconda. Let's open the Anaconda prompt. Go to the start menu and type Anaconda. This is the prompt. Open it. Now let's create a Python environment. Let me copy this. You can change this name as you want but I will leave it to default. This will install Python version 3.9. Y and enter. So the environment with Python 3.9 has been created. Now let's activate it. For that, simply copy this and paste it here and enter. You can see the base name has changed. Let me clear this all. You can close this. So this portion has been done. Now let's navigate to the folder. So we need to be in here. Copy this address. Type cd space and paste and enter. So we are inside this folder. So we have already downloaded these pre-trained models and have extracted them. Now we need to install all the dependencies. So we need to run this command. But before running this, we need to make some changes to this requirement.txt as we had some issues. So for that, open the folder and open this requirements.txt file. In here, cut this torch and torch reason, Ctrl plus X, and save this. Open another notepad and paste it here. We will be installing these in a while. This requirements is done. Close it. We'll install Torch and Torch region separately. Now let's run this command. Copy it and paste it here and enter. Now this will install all the required dependencies so will take some time. So all the requirements have been installed. Now we need to install Torch as well. 
To do that, simply add PIP install in front of it. This is done. Copy this and paste it here. The size is about 2 GB, so it will take some time to download. Now let's install this PYTorch vision. Add PIP install. As well, copy this from here. Now copy the code and paste it here. So now this is also done. Now let's try to animate the image. Copy this code. I will paste it to the notepad. This code will take a video reference and will animate the image accordingly. You can leave this. Checkpoints. This is one of the pre-trained models. Let me show you. So in the checkpoints folder, we will use Vox for now. You can try other models as well. Vox is for the face, Tate is for the body movement, also try others. We personally have not used it all. Anyway, for now we will use Vox. And in the source image, which is in the assets folder. So this is the image which will be animated as per this video movement. So this is the image file name and this is the video file name. I will use the default video, but if you want, you can add your own video and images here. Let me use my own image. So I have this image which I downloaded from the Pixabay. Let me copy this and paste it in the assets folder. Let me check its properties. This is the JPG image. Copy the name and add the extension .jpg. So this is done. Now this image should animate as per this video. So let's see if this works or not. Now copy this. And paste it here and enter. Now this laptop does not have Nvidia graphics. But those who have Nvidia, this command should work. But those who do not have Nivida can use CPU to make the animation. Let me clear this first. Now to use the CPU, we will use the same code. We only need to add double dash CPU. So this will use the CPU. So copy the code and paste it here. Please note this will take some time. So this is done. Let's check the results. Open this folder. You will see a results.mp4 file and this is the final product. This video does not have any sound so you will have to edit it accordingly. Also the video quality will degrade compared to the image. Anyway we really hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.